Welcome to Business Process Improvement, Unitech course BSNS 6350. In this course, I'm going to talk about the scope and the learning outcomes, and I'm also going to explain the context of the course in relation to other courses in operations management that are carried out here at uh, Unitech. First, let's look at the scope of the course. The scope of the course is concerned with improving productivity, managing growth, improving effectiveness, and enhancing the environmental sustainability of the enterprises with which we are associated. Let's look at increasing productivity. We need to distinguish between productivity and production. Product, production is simply output, the output or the quantity of products or services we're creating. Productivity, in contrast, is concerned with improving the ratio of output compared with the input of resources. These may be resources of uh, raw materials, labour, capital employed, equipment. Let's talk now about managing growth. When we come to grow a company, we need to work out where to put a new factory, what equipment we need to expand our capacity, what products to design to meet new market requirements. When it comes to improving effectiveness, we're concerned here about are we doing the correct thing? Are we generating the right products? Are we locating our factory in the correct country, in the correct city, in the correct district? Finally, more and more customers, suppliers down the supply chain are requiring that we produce our products in an environmentally sustainable way. Can we reduce waste? Can we reduce scrap? Can we improve the utilisation of resources by the product over its whole lifetime? These are some aspects of enhancing environmental sustainability. What are the learning outcomes for this course, Business Process Improvement? There are four broad learning outcomes. The first learning outcome is to conduct investigations that improve business process, efficiency, plan for growth and so forth. The second aspect is that we need to communicate the results of our investigations to senior managers, to bankers, to financiers, to the workplace employees. Thirdly, the aim of this course is to prepare you for further career and academic development options. Let's look now more closely at the aspect of conducting investigations. First, we need to identify appropriate analytical frameworks. And in this course, we'll be examining several classes of analytical frameworks. We'll be looking at decision making, location planning, managing operations to improve efficiency, the process of continuous improvement, and finally, product design. Within the aspect of decision making, we'll be looking at cost-benefit analysis, decision-making under uncertainty and risk, how do we value time, the time value of money, uh, when it takes some time for uh, uh, the, the investments to be returned to us, and what is the value of perfect information. When it comes to location planning, what country do we locate our facility in? Once we've chosen the country, there may be many cities or towns where we could locate the facility, or perhaps out in the country. Finally, once we've located the city or town, what part of the city, what district do we place that new facility? When it comes to managing operations more efficiently, first we've got to lay out facilities in new ways. We need to plan our inventory. When do we order new stock? How much stock do we, do we hold to take account of uh, fluctuations in demand or fluctuations in supply time? How do we schedule our production? And finally, how do we deal 
with uncertain arrivals of raw materials or people at our service facilities. This is the issue of queuing. These days, businesses are focused on continuous improvement, looking for ideas and methods to improve efficiency and effectiveness all the time, seeking ideas from employees, suppliers and others throughout the supply chain. There are several approaches we'll be covering in the course. The first is just-in-time scheduling, which reduces some of the issues associated with inventory management, lean operations, and we'll be looking at the Toyota production system. This is a very holistic system introduced by uh, Toyota, uh, and variants of the system have been adopted by uh, many companies and countries throughout the world. When we come to product design, we'll be looking at life cycle analysis, looking at all aspects of the product from its initial design, design for manufacture, design for maintenance and repair, and design for the end of life. This is life cycle analysis. As part of this, we're also looking at how we design for sustainable production and sustainable use. Let's look at the other learning outcomes now. As part of conducting investigations, we need to apply appropriate analytical frameworks. In particular, in this course, we'll be learning how to develop frameworks, mathematical frameworks, and turn those mathematical frameworks into spreadsheet-based models that we can use to investigate the various alternatives for our decision-making. At first, we'll learn how to test and apply spreadsheet models developed by others and then later we'll learn how to test, develop and prove and document spreadsheets that we build ourselves so that other people can use them. A key component of building these models is that we need to be able to conduct sensitivity analysis or what-if analysis. When we've carried out our investigation, typically when we report our results to our manager or to our funder, our financial manager, they will want us to say, well, what happens if the exchange rate goes from 70 cents to the US dollar down to 50 cents to the US dollar? What happens if the cost of our raw materials goes up 20%? What if happens if interest rates change? All these may affect the decisions that we have uh, recommended. That's why we need to set up our analysis in a spreadsheet so that we can quickly uh, test these alternative possibilities and see how robust our decision is. Once we've conducted our investigations, we need to report our results. Typically, we'll report our results in the form of a formal investigative report providing all the technical information and evidence and logic uh, behind our recommendation. We'll also be required to make an executive presentation, uh, an executive summary, an oral presentation. Uh, we'll also be required to make executive presentations uh, in the form of a short oral presentation uh, or an executive summary. This course also helps develop your career and academic options. You learn how to consult and share your experience in operations management with others within the class and beyond. You'll develop your skills, your knowledge and your confidence to apply operations management to undertake advanced studies in operations management at Unitech and I'll talk about some of those courses later. And you'll also develop the confidence to carry out an investigation as part of your industry-based learning project. Uh, this forms a capstone project as part of your studies in operations management. I want to talk now about the context of this course, Business Process Improvement, and other courses in operations management at Unitech. This course is an advanced course in the undergraduate program. It assumes that you have studied some prerequisite 
courses in operations management and other management disciplines. In particular, it assumes that you studied Business Process Management, BSNS 5350. It also presumes that you have academic professional uh, capabilities in numeracy and writing. Let's talk a little bit about what you will have studied in business process management. A few of you will be studying this course concurrently with business process improvement. Uh, so you'll need to skip ahead into the textbook to ensure that uh, you have covered some of these topics so that when they are discussed in class you're familiar with them. Business process management covers the fundamentals of operations management, talking about the distinction between production and productivity, the distinction between efficiency and effectiveness, Uh, the key thrust of the course is basic principles of forecasting demand, forecasting the demand for the services and products of an enterprise, which leads to capacity planning, how much facilities, machinery, people do we need to meet the forecast demand, how do we then plan the resources which will be carried out to achieve the desired level of production or service delivery. And as we carry out our production, we need to manage quality to ensure that products are fit for service. Uh, we need to ensure that we have maintenance systems in place so that our equipment is available as, uh, as much as we can, 24 hours per day, seven days a week. Uh, and we also learn in this course basic principles of project management. BSNS 6350 assumes a certain level of numeracy skills. These skills include basic high school algebra and mathematics, uh, descriptive statistics, particularly the ability to calculate means and standard deviations, uh, to conduct basic linear modeling, linear forecasting models based on statistical data. Finally, you should be familiar with how to uh, use spreadsheets and create simple spreadsheets. In terms of writing skills, you should know how to write with logic, with evidence and with persuasion. You need to be able to write succinctly and clearly. You'll be expected to prepare your results, the results of your investigations uh, in formal reports. You'll need to know how to summarize you'll need to know how to summarize the key essence of those reports in the form of an executive summary. You'll need to be able to conduct and report the results of literature reviews relevant to a particular investigation you're conducting. And finally, you'll need to be able to learn how to present your materials in an oral format. How does this course relate to other courses as part of the Operations Management Programme at Unitech? I've already, I've already explained how business process improvement uh, builds upon the first year course, Business Process Management. BSNS 5350. The related courses at this level, at level 6, are Quality Management, BSNS 6351, and Supply Chain Management, BSNS 6352. This course, Business Process Improvement, is a prerequisite for final year undergraduate courses at level 7, Strategy, BSNS 7340, Operations Management, BSNS 7350, and Project Management, BSNS 7351. We've conducted our tour of the course, and here you see now the full mind map covering all the different aspects of the course. 
the scope, the learning outcomes, the prerequisites and co-requisites, and the related courses. We've shown how the scope concerns increasing productivity, managing growth, improving enterprise effectiveness, and enhancing the environmental sustainability of an organisation. We've seen that the learning outcomes are focused on conducting investigations through identifying and applying appropriate analytical frameworks. We've seen that we are going to learn how to communicate the results of our investigations. And finally, we are going to build up your career and professional uh, academic options for related studies in the field. Once again, I'm Peter Mellilieu and I welcome you to Business Process Improvement.